Characterizing a couple of 3D printed dentures. Uh, and one of my favorite things about 3D printing is how customizable the experience can be, even for you, the user. So you can take this field as far as you want because uh, there sure is a lot out there. Alright. So, the first step in pretty much any 3D printing post processing work will be to don your PPE. These can include things like gloves, goggles, masks, lab coats. We're all used to these things at this point, but it's important to be safe. Now we've 3D printed our dentures with rodent sculpture. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these dentures from the build plate. Okay, now that you have it off of your printer and a little bit of drip drive, we're going to go ahead and get these off the build plate. Now, one of the most important things is once you begin this process, you want to make sure that none of the solid particles left can end up back in the printer. If you're using a razor scraper, make sure that you go against your device and just move it back and forth. Now that we have it loosened up a bit, we're going to go ahead and get under with our paint scraper. Now just to be extra safe, we'll go ahead and wipe it down before we put it back. If you know you're changing resins, you do a more thorough job. If you know you're not, not so necessary. It's just to make sure you got all the particulates. So in this step, we're going to remove all the extra supports, remove the extra resin, and then we're going to shoot our aesthetic uh, of air to try and remove everything that we can't wipe off. Okay, so in this step, we're gonna use compressed air, and we're gonna to try to get off all that resin that we were unable to remove from one pan. After this, we'll use a little IPA and a toothbrush, and uh, at that point, we're gonna dehydrate with our hot air rework to make sure it's nice and dry, and we'll be ready for steam. Next, we're going to go ahead and clean what's left over here with just IPA on the toothbrush and wiping it off. And then we're going to go ahead and grind down uh, what's left of our support tips. Okay. Alright, in the next step, we're going to remove what's left of our supports. This is why it's so important to consider the tip thickness of your supports when you are creating your nested file for your print.
So now that we're happy, that we have all our supports off, we're gonna go ahead, give it a final cleaning, compress the air, and make sure it's fully dry. We'll even heat it up a bit to make sure we lower the humidity. 